Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new video on my FIFA 18 player rating predictions and today's video we are going to be doing the player rating predictions for Man City. If you do enjoy this video leave a like and also subscribe for more videos like this and also leave a comment down below suggesting what other teams I should do for player rating predictions. So first off for Man City we do have Stones. On FIFA 17 did have a 78 rated card with 75 pace, 35 shooting, 65 passing, 71 dribbling, 78 defender and 76 physical. And on FIFA 18, I predict he'll stay at the same rating with minor changes to his stats with only plus two to his pace, plus two to his passing. Rest of his stats stay in the same. Don't really think he deserves an upgrade, but don't really think he deserves a downgrade either because 78 rated is quite low. Next, we do have Sané. FIFA 17 did have a 79 rated card at right mid with 91 pace, 75 shooting, 70 passing, 83 dribbling, 34 defending, and 64 physical. And on FIFA 18, after having a decent season, I think he'll go up to an 82 rated card with plus 3 to his shooting, plus 2 to his passing and dribbling, and his pace, defending and physical all staying the same. Looks like a pretty decent card. Next we do have Man City's new signer, Danilo. FIFA 17, to get a 79 rated downgrade card with 80 pace, 70 shooting, 71 passing, 75 dribbling, 76 defending and 79 physical. And on FIFA 18, I predict he'll go up one rating back to his 80 rated card because he has joined Man City with only minor changes to his stats with plus one to his passing defender and physical and his dribbling, shooting and pace staying the same so basically the same card just up one rating. Next we do have David Silva on FIFA 17 did have a 87 rated cam card with 68 pace, 72 shooting, 87 passing, 87 dribbling, 32 defending and 58 physical and on FIFA 18 I predict he will go down one rating to an 86 rated card with minor changes to his stats with minus one to his pace, passing and defending, plus one to his shooting and his dribbling physical staying the same. Next we do have Gundogan, FIFA 17 did have a 85 rated card with 75 pace, 87 dribbling, 72 shooting, 63 defending, 84 passing and 72 physical. And on FIFA 18 I think he'll stay the same rating with only minor changes to his stats with plus one to his shooting, plus two to his passing, minus two to his dribbling and minus one to his defending with his pace and physical staying the same. What I think he deserves is 85 rated. Next we do have company on FIFA 17, an 86 rated card with 69 pace, 86 defend and 81 physical as his main stat. And on FIFA 18, I predict he will go down one rating to an 85 rated card with only minor changes to his stats with only minus one to his pace, defend and physical, shooting, pass and dribble and staying the same. Next we do have Sterling on FIFA 17, an 82 rated card. Did also get a Premier League Player of the Month card as well. That was at a right mid, but his left mid card did have 93 pace, 86 dribbling, 71 shooting, 72 passing as his main stat. And on FIFA 18, I predict they will go up one rating. Don't know whether it will be a left mid or a right mid, I'm not too sure, but I've left him at a left mid for now. With plus 2 to his shooting, plus 1 to his passing and dribbling, minus 1 to his defending and plus 3 to his physical, with his pace staying the same as it already is 93. Next we do have Otamendi on FIFA 17 to get a downgrade card from an 85 to an 84 rated card with his main stats being 72 pace, 83 defender and 81 physical and on FIFA 18 I think he'll go back up to his 85 rated card with only minor changes to his stats with just plus 1s and 2s and most of his stats staying the same. Looks like a really really good card as well. Probably will be quite expensive at the start of the game. And next we do have Mendy, a new signing for Man City. On FIFA 17 did have a 75 rated non-rare card with 77 pace, 72 dribbling, 47 shooting, 72 defending, 61 passing and 76 physical. And on FIFA 18 I think he'll go 5 ratings to an 80 rated card, I think he deserves that. With plus 3 to his pace, pass and dribbling, plus 4 to his defending and plus 2 to his physical. Looks like a good card, maybe a bit on the slow side for left back but does look like a good card considering he is 6 foot 1. Next we do have another new signing for Man City, Kyle Walker. On FIFA 17 did have an 82 rated card with 90 pace, 79 defender and 81 physical as his main stat. And on FIFA 18 I think he'll go up 2 ratings to an 84 rated card with changes to all the stats apart from his physical with plus 1 to his pace, plus 2 to his shooting and passing, plus 3 to his dribbling and plus 2 to his defender. Looks like an unbelievable card and definitely will be expensive at the start of the game. Next we do have Yaya Torre. FIFA 17 did have an 84 rated card with 74 pace, 83 shooting, 81 passing, 77 dribbling, 69 defending, 84 physical. And on FIFA 18, I predict he will go up 1 rating to an 85 rated card with minus 2 to his pace because he is getting older and I think EA will drop his pace down. Plus 1 to his shooting, plus 2 to his passing, plus 1 to his defending as he sits back a bit more now. 
and his dribble and physical stay the same. Next we do have Gabriel Jesus. Had a really good season when he played for Man City last season with a 78 rated card on 517 with 86 pace, 85 dribbling, 76 shooting, 70 passing as his main stats. And on FIFA 18, I predicted he would go up three reigns to an 81 rated card. I think he deserves that. With plus two to his pace, shooting, passing, plus one to his dribbling, minus one to his defending, and his physical staying the same. Next, we do have another new signer for Man City, which is Edison. On FIFA 17, did have an 81 rated non rare card. Did also get a team of the season. Does have 81 diving, 76 handling, 82 kicking, 86 reflexes, 62 speed, and 75 positioning. And on FIFA 18, I think he'll go up to an 84 rated card, maybe an 83 rated card, but I've predicted all the stats will go up with plus 2 to his diving, handling and positioning, and plus 2 to his kick and reflexes and speed. Looks like a really good card and will be a good goalkeeper for the Premier League and to link him into hybrids. Next we have another new signer for Man City, which is Bernardo Silva. On FIFA 17, did have a 82 rated right mid card with 79 pace, 72 shooting, 79 passing, 86 dribble. 45 defending and 61 physical and on FIFA 18 I think he'll go up to an 84 rated card with plus 4 to his pace, plus 3 to his shooting, plus 1 to his passing, plus 2 to his physical and his dribble and defending staying the same. Next you have De Bruyne, on FIFA 17 did have an 88 rated card with 77 pace, 83 shooting, 86 passing, 84 dribbling, 40 defending and 75 physical. And on FIFA 18 I think he'll go up 1 rating to an 89 rated with a centre mid card with plus 2 to his pace, shooting, passing, plus 1 to his dribbling physical and plus 3 to his defending because he has dropped from a camp to a centre mid. And finally we do have Aguero on FIFA 17 did have an 89 rated card with 89 pace, 89 dribbling, 88 shooting, 75 passing, 23 defending and 70 physical. And on FIFA 18 I think he'll go up 1 rating to a 90 rated card with minus 1 to his pace, plus 1 to his shooting and plus 2 to his passing, only minor changes to his stats dribble and defend and physical staying the same and that's gonna be the end of this video if you did enjoy this video leave a like also subscribe for more videos like this also leave a comment down below what other videos you want to see from me in the future thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time